Hello there, I hope you're well. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create and upload an Amazon invoice. Um, this is for an item which you've sold on Amazon, obviously, uh, which you will need to provide an invoice, which Amazon has made um, compulsory recently. Um, the first thing you'd want to do is go on to Amazon Seller Central, which is sellercentral.amazon.co.uk. This is where you manage um, all your orders and everything. So you need to sign in. This is where you manage all your orders. Now, the next thing you'd want to do is uh, go on to orders, manage orders. Um, this is where it shows all the items that you've sold. Uh, sorry, just very quickly. Um, I'm not, this is my first video, so I'm not exactly sure how to introduce myself or anything. Um, but um, this channel I've basically made to create tutorials for my clients, if they have any questions or anything. Um, so today, the shop that I'm using is called Ashifa. Um, I'll put their link into the description below. So if you are interested in any of their products, you can buy them. Um, that's one thing. Okay. You'd want to press shipped uh, because these items have already been shipped. All right. Now here is an item which I sold a few days ago. The first thing you'd want to do is click print packing slip. Okay. The moment you click that, it'll open up a separate window to print. Just click cancel on that. And you know this address, copy it. Copy the entire address. Yeah. And this is a file which I have created myself. Um, you can buy it via eBay. I'll leave a link in the description below. In the future, I should be able to provide it for free, but at the moment, I can't. I'm extremely sorry about that. Here's the file. The next thing you'd want to do is right click inserts yeah and just make it look slightly neater you can just copy this to the top and delete this one below and to match it as a4 we'd need to delete one row from here okay so here's the template if you want to create it yourself you could do Okay, so on the top left, you add your business name and all your details. On the right hand side, the date, the invoice number, which in this case would be 191. Yeah. Um, and the item paid, then the name of the item. Okay, for that, you'd need to copy that over from here. So everything's here. The packing slip, it has everything on there. Okay, so you copy that over as well. And onto the template file and then the cost how much the item was uh, we checked that here total was 10 pound we x this okay so we changed that to 10 pound and there's no other VAT or tax deduction so that's it that's all done okay now the, this is the most important thing now you can't go around saving this file as an XN file. Yep, you'll need to save it as a PDF file or as a JPEG. JPEG is an image file um, and PDF is a, a document file. Okay, uh, so you click PDF. If you don't have PDF inside your list, then you will need to go onto the Microsoft website and download the PDF um, variant, I think it's called. Yeah, and the name you give it is just give it the same name as the invoice so 191 okay so now this now um we've already created the um the label okay next thing you'd want to do is click on upload invoice yeah browse now there's a file there's a way to automate it but i noticed that once you click automate you ask for all these other business details which majority of um the sellers won't have yeah, so it's just additional cost. So I prefer just doing it manually. 191 and the document number, just write 191, that should suffice. Yeah, and click upload. So, and that's it, all done. Okay, um, it says pending, but it's actually completed. So I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe, please like the video. If you have any other questions in regards to Amazon, eBay, um, Wish, or anything else, just uh, leave a comment down below with your question and I will try my best to create a video on explaining that as well. Thank you very much. Bye.